this model of redesigning architectural milieu, milieus. The, the goal if, of this talk is to discuss how the transformation of architectural milieu by digital technology had an impact on architecture itself in building, and how uh, these different milieus are a relationship together. What I mean by milieu, like one milieu is the world of architects, such as studio, uh, beginning in the 90s, so we have the paperless studio, first in 94, where formal experimentation have been realized by architects with software and computer, or the current fab lab, labs, which architects using CNC machine, uh, such as robots, over the, the past 10 years. So that's the first milieu. And the second milieu cover the architectural field itself in its projective form at the design stages. Or on the built one, the important point for me is should be, the building should be designed by IT. For, for that reason, I will not discuss about uh, smart cities or responsive houses. But the important is the, the design process based uh, on uh, digital technology. The idea is to explore in Simon Dontov how to think about the relationship between those two milieu and understand the implication of one to the other, and vice versa. First, we will see how Simon Dontov concepts on technique offer relevant guidelines for thinking there's technological change in both milieu, but also show the limits of some concept to think digital technologies and think architectural object. Then we will discuss one of the central relationship of the third part of MEOT between technical and aesthetical tough, which the philosopher will later elaborate under the name of techno aesthetic. Despite the fact that Simono mentioned only a few words about architecture, and particularly nothing about computer as we know it today, certain concepts remain accurate to think the relationship between architects and computer or machine. In other words, the second part of uh, Mayotte, men and technical object, is for me or for my interest. It's more relevant than the first part uh, genesis and evolution of technical objects. For example, it's difficult to use concepts like concretization to, to talk about computer, but it's possible to see like a major or minor mode in architect relationship with digital technology. For example, on one side you have architect like Greg Lean, they use computer intuitively uh, guide more like the building to, co the, to construct that the real understanding of all the algor algorithmic process. On the other end, you have a guy like Chris Yesos, the creator of a software from FormZ, who used the computer in an analytic way for whom the computer became a source of transformation process outside a specific project. As a result, it becomes possible to understand different ways of learning and using those technologies, and above all, understand how this main computer relationship is evolving through a middle way, like Simon will talk, like the attitude adopted by architects using FibLab. Right? It's a good example. Uh, of the combination between artisanal and industrial mode. It's, it's like a middle way between major or minor mode, or a, a Simon don't talk about the relationship like a child or like an adult. In my opinion, it's possible to see in this experimentation the one generated by software in my knees, and those made with CNC machine today, by the effort involved 
this experimentation, what Simonon called transitive process, process of the mind that is discovery, where the potential of technology combined with the desire, the motivation of architect, are on the equal basis in the co-individuation process. That architectural exploration can be seen as pioneering, like Simonon said about, like, I quote, the desire for conquest is to legitimize an individual act for a community. And more generally, any pioneer gesture consists in connecting with key points that nature presents. So that experimentation over the years have built a digital imagination in architecture with curves and moving, moving pattern of growth, and in some way, are connecting with algorithmic logic useful for the design process in architecture. And more generally, the technical task of Simondon is useful and allow to reestablish the debate on the place of ET in architecture by moving the point of view from the simple use of tool to the operate operational logic of the software of the machine, and simply to avoid the debates at for uh, against computer, which is still very common in architecture school in France. For the second milieu, the architectural field itself, with building, it's more challenging to use the Simondon, I think, because it's easy to interpret the architecture architectural object as a large technical object and use the concept as concretization directly. In some way, it's possible to describe some architectural element with this concept, concretization, the one used by Simondon himself, or more contemporary one like uh, how to create an energy efficient balcony. But those examples still technical problem to solve. And if we follow the concretization process until the end, like Simon uh, told, the conventions of function into a structural unit, the build building becomes a machine. This, this is not totally false. The architect solves functional and technical problem, but that's not all. It's also about social, cultural, problem about shape, about light, and ambience, etc. So it's difficult to use uh, directly some concept uh, in architecture. So we are now looking, going to look at the third, third part of the du mode, where Simondon proposed an articulation between technical thought and aesthetic thought to understand the impact of technology on architectural object or at least to find out ideas for thinking about those objects. The introduction of the third part, the essence of technicity, opens the way for thinking about this relationship. The genesis of technical object has repercussion on other human production, on the attitude men has toward the world. For Simondon, genesis must be understood as a individuation and uh, individuation in a large sense that means not only the genesis of the object but also the individuation of the milieu created at the same time of, as the object. It's for that reason that it's important to understand the condition in which the computer was introduced in architecture because new experimentation come always with older carries. However, a question arises can we elaborate a digital technicity in line with technicity defined by Simondon in Mayotte? In a broader, broader sense, yes, several observations remain relevant, like technicity precedes technical object and goes beyond, beyond them. Technical objects result from objectivation of technicity, they are 
produced by, by it, but technicity does not exhaust itself in the object and is not inter inter entirely contained with them. Each time they are potential remain alive for future individuation. But the problem, in the, it's about the, more about the evolution of techno, technical reality proposed by Simondo by element, individu, individual, and ensemble, um, that need a, an important update to integrate the power of automatic calculation as Stig, Bernard Stigler works on, and to understand the process of abstraction uh, in computer science, like the article by Timothy Colburn and Gary Schultz, uh, Abstraction in, com in Computer Science. It's clear that a more in-deep study is required to integrate this new te technical reality in, in the system developed by Simondon, if we really want to define a digital technology. For this talk, I am going to try to understand the architectural object more specifically, the, the one generated by uh, software or machine, CNC machine, to see if it's possible to use the phase system to give a new meaning to this experimentation. It should be noted that in the year 2000, digital architecture have generated great excitement. We very uh, appreciate that, that kind of stuff. But now, 20 years later, the, those experimentations are being set aside. Out of them, feel like a failure. This failure is interesting to observe because, as Simondon finds out, it's revealed the real intention. Together with virtuality, the failure of technical action leads to the discovery of what subjective, subjectively corresponds to this virtuality, which is the possible as optative. From the 90s, architects have seen computers as an alternative instrument able to transform design process in order to change architecture itself. One of the biggest problems, as the salt power, water pavilion showed, uh, is that what there's the, the, the form simulated behind the screen were very difficult to build. We have a lot of technical problems to drive to what we simulate behind the screen. So this difficulty was clearly contributed to the rise of interest in manufacturing matters. In fact, man manufacturing problems have become important in ongoing experimentation. So I will finish with this project. To explain the, this new tendency focusing on manufacturing problem, uh, I will present uh, one of the Akim Menges project, the ECDETKE research project, to see the to see the interconnection of technical and aesthetic problem faced by this architect. What I want to to show quickly is the two level of technical issue in order to satisfy architectural motivation. Here, what they want to do is they want to uh, realize uh, the largest light and self-supporting structure as possible. Their approach is to use a woven membrane with animal construction as re a reference. So, look so they have the problem to use tool to capture animal behavior or animal construction, and also which one, and try to find a way to translate in the design process and to use the first design process. To that, the, the first problem, technical problem, and the second, they have the problem of the technic, uh, technical ensemble with with a drone. See the drone and the, the robotic arms. And the, the, the drone are an answer uh, for the limit of the robotic arm amplitude. Uh, with the arms, you, you can just build not so big, uh, so big uh, project or building, so they need to, to find 
new way. So that kind of design process, uh, back and forth between technical constraint and architectural intention, lead to myself to a new level of techno aesthetic, not only drive by construction problem, but also by the problem of pattern generation or mach machine gesture uh, in relation with the techno aesthetic intention. These problems are based on digital technicity and doing something new in architecture, milieu. It's not used like a simple tool or an instrument and neither a simple use of mathematics. And it's a, a new mediation with its own structuration, or structuration. It's still in progress. As Simondon claims, is about how milieu is meeting other milieu. And it's a matter of, how, of understanding how the design and manufacturing process, processes and architecture itself manage to integrate this new technical reality with its own key, key points. So in conclusion, the goal of this presentation was to show the need to not confuse the implication of IT, digital technology, on those two milieu, architectural milieu. New design process and manufacturing possibility bring a new kind of technicity with impact on building that not correspond with the use of technology directly on the architecture, like smart, like smart city, for example. The way that design processes are transformed by automatic calculation and the manufacturing matters bring us new way of doing architecture but also redesigning the articulation between those milieu. The goal is to find out theory theoretical tools to capture this new articulation. Thank you. Thank you very much.